Hey everyone, it's Rich Toll. Thanks for bearing with us with the camera angles. We're getting this set up. So let's get started. If you're taking class with us, let's set up your mat. Give you about 10 seconds to get ready. But we're going to stand in Tadasana. Tadasana is standing mountain pose, which is also Shavasana, standing, right? Shavasana, final pose. So see how she's between two planes of glass, feet hip distance apart, relax the shoulders, outwardly spiral. Engage through the core. I always like to think you can get, you know, hit through the core. Here we go. And I like to think you're hanging now. I think you're like a tree ornament here. Crown straight up. Boom. Excellent. Good. Let's just sweep it up here. Oh, there we go. All right. And then hold. Volcano pose. Now, we haven't talked about the breathing, but we've already got this settled. So your breathing is inhales match to exhales. She's going to hold through this pose. So let's come into volcano, but you're focusing on your breath. The inhales match to exhales through your entire practice. We'll talk about that in the future, but here we go. Two planes of glass. She's relaxing her shoulders, lifting up volcano pose. Excellent. Love this pose. Good. Now she's going to swan dive forward and stop halfway. Bend your knees a little bit and she's going to hold with a flat back and then she's going to bend your knees and you're going to settle into airplane pose. So coming into airplane pose, flying the arms out, breathe, sinking a little deeper. I like to think it's an ironing board here so you can rest a glass of water. Good. Really strong through the thighs. Now she's going to sweep the arms forward for low chair. I like to think spin the hands up right and now see how she's sort of sinking down get a little stronger through the thighs you're just waking up the body here and then slowly clasp behind your back as she forward bends it's your first forward bend feet are hip distance keep the knees apart good make it a little bit more about the shoulders just waking it up here good excellent now release the high chair super slow see how she sweeps it up sweeps the arms up to high chair She's coming up. Let's come up a little higher on your first chair. Think, trying to get the biceps near the ears a little more. Sinks back down. I like to teach this with trying to round that sacrum, the five fused vertebrae at the base of your spine. Excellent. Good. And then a little swan dive forward as she takes it forward. Bend. Coming into Uttanasana. Bend your knees a little bit. Uttanasana. Palms to the elbows. Sway a little bit side to side. You're going to take this into the low back. Good, just waking it up a little bit, maybe forward and back, heels to the balls of your feet. Excellent, good, release your hands. Let's heel toe your feet, hip distance apart, or actually take them as wide as the mat, Vicka. Let's go as wide as the mat here, and then Uttanasana, this is a wide-legged Uttanasana, palms to your elbows. Good, a little bit deeper, bending the knees. Excellent, good. Taking this back into airplane pose. So, flying the arms out, super flat back, Try to get the torso between the legs. I like to take the knees out a little bit. Yeah, like almost like a skier. Good. And flat back here. Lift your heart a little bit. Good. Excellent. Engage your thighs on this one. Good. Sweeping the arms forward for that low chair. Good. Right here. Good. Sinking down even a little deeper. Excellent. Now slowly touch down. She's going to go left hand down and then right arm up to the sky. Put that left hand right under your nose. Good, right arm up, a little side twist. She's able to straighten the right leg here. Take it to wherever you are. Good, right hand down, and then left arm's gonna go up. Just a little side stretch, waking up the body here. Again, she's able to straighten the left leg. Good, taking it all the way down. Now let's heel to the feet out off the mat, maybe about six inches. This is a wide-legged Uttanasana, palms to your elbows. She's able to straighten her legs, but if you wanna keep the knees bent a little, that's fine, it's your first stretch. Stay with it. Good, excellent. Let's go left hand down, that same little twist, right underneath your nose. Good, reaching up, excellent. Slowly, let's go to the other side. You see, I like to move a little quick in this. This is a little workout here. Good, bringing it down all the way through. Now she's gonna pivot around to the right side and think we're coming into a tri you know, triangle pose, just a forward bend here. You can bend the knee a little bit if it feels good, if you're able to straighten. We're stretching out the body here. Good, nothing fancy. Now put a bend into that knee. Think this is a wide-legged warrior. Walk the fingertips out. Think like there's a rectangle. She's going to that far corner, and she's coming into almost like, you know, puppy dog pose. Excellent. Good, now Vic is gonna walk it over to the left side, pivot the right foot back, square that foot. Good, and then take it into a wide-legged triangle forward bend, just stretching out the hamstrings here. Good, excellent. Take it out to the far corner. Remember, 
There's a rectangle, she's bending that knee. So we're moving into like a wide-legged warrior pose. Excellent. Vic is gonna bring it back through center, straighten both legs, plant the left palm one more time, right arm up, good. Side body stretch, it's coming into the side body. The knees don't have to be straight, good. Lower the right hand down, over to the other side. Everything we do on one side, we do on the other. You have two halves of your body, rarely are they the same. Good, bringing it all the way down. Heel toe your feet together. Bringing it all the way together. Put a bend in your knees. It's your first Uttanasana, palms to your elbows. It's your first Uttanasana with feet together. It's a little tighter on the hamstrings, so relax into it. One more airplane pose with the feet together. Good, excellent. Flatten the back, lower the heart a little more. Good, she's flying it out and sink even lower here. Engage those thighs. Bring it into high chair pose, just sweeping up into high chair. Excellent, sink a little deeper, try to pull through the core, and then take it through prayer as you dive forward, maybe straightening the legs as she dives forward. Nice, touching down. She's an inhale flat back, that's Urdhva Uttanasana. That's Sanskrit, don't worry so much, and she's gonna walk it back to plank. So let's come into your plank. We're gonna hold right here. Plank pose, shoulders over wrists, feet are hip distance apart. Hold that pose, we're gonna engage through the core. Imagine there's a steel rod going through. We're gonna lower on a five count, ready? Five, elbows in, force the other in, three, two, one. Soft cobra here, so just gonna lift up with a cobra, zipper it together, and then back to down dog. Let's bend your knees, Vicka, on this one. Bend your knees and then take it back to down dog. That helps the low back if you have issues with the low back. Your first downward facing dog of the day. So she's gonna pedal it out. Pedal out one foot, pedal out the other. In a downward facing dog, you're an upside down V. Right, spread your fingers. See so as you spread your fingers, most people, they try to keep their hands closed. And then let me demonstrate from here. There's a difference between here and here. So if you're here, especially guys, take it like your heart's being pulled through your legs by a string here. Excellent. Good. Let's bring your feet together. Then she's gonna inhale plank. Coming into side plank, Vashistasana, right palm down, pivot to the outside edge. She's able to stack her feet and flex her feet, but some of you might wanna step that left foot forward. Right, if your balance is a little bit off, the key is this hip lifts up. Nice, and she's reaching for the sky, and she's gonna step it back for a rock star or a wild thing, love this pose. Steps it back, she lifts her hips, looking forward. Slowly back through plank. Let's hold your plank, feet hip distance apart. Good, and we're gonna lower on a five count, like a board. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming into up dog here, so she's gonna slowly curl up. See how her legs come off the, excellent. That's something that if you're ready for that, and then slowly take it back down with facing dog. If you like doing it through cobra, that's fine too. Up dog if you're ready for it. Excellent, let's go feet together. Other side, left side, Vashistasana. Left palm down, she pivots over, flexes the feet, see how the hips are raised. Again, if you wanna modify, step that foot forward, gives you a little more balance. Excellent, and then she's gonna step it back for a rock star. She's lifting her hips, trying to touch the sky front room. Excellent, now bring it through plank and then chaturanga on your own here, Becca. Excellent. Chaturanga, always move slow through this. There's no rest. See how the elbows graze the body? Don't take the elbows out. Back, downward facing dog. Excellent, really good. Good, and this downward facing dog, you can make some movements here, but once you're in your down dog, then she's gonna try to find stillness. So let's not try, she can find stillness. So she becomes still. But see what's happening here? She's relaxing through, and it's like this upside down V. She's kind of taking the heart through. Excellent, really good. All right, stay with your breath. Inhales, match the exhales. You're in this pose. Close your eyes here for a couple of breaths. It's always good to kind of reconnect. Why are you here? Set your intention for today. We didn't do all that in the beginning, but whenever you start your class, always think about taking the time to set your intention, set your breath, and stay focused, stay present for as long as this class is, whether it's an hour class, 45 minutes. All right, let's get started here. Good. First, let's bring it up, right? On the inhale, bend your knees, look up, and she's gonna actually step or walk, hop forward, whatever. She's able to hop it forward. Inhale, flat back, exhale, forward. Another high chair here. She's coming into high chair. Excellent, really good. Love this pose, been working on this a lot. Stay with it, breathe. 
soften it, and then she's gonna swan dive it forward, taking it through, see how she straightens her legs, almost comes to a T, inhale, flat back, and let's take it back, plank, chaturanga on your own. Good. Inhaling up, exhale back, downward facing dog. Really good, excellent, good. On the inhale, right leg high to the sky. We're gonna hold here. Now let's bend the knee and open this up. See how she stacks the right hip over left? Good, stacking right hip, relax this heel and, and rotate that ankle around. Excellent. And then slowly she's gonna go knee to nose and she's gonna hold in a cat pose. I love doing abs in all the classes. See how she rounds the back? We're gonna hold here for three, two, one. Shoot that leg back up high to the sky. Lower that foot, excellent. Over to the other side. So she inhales left, opens it up, stacking left over right. In Tola Yoga, there's five parts. We do yoga stretches, abdominals, core strengthening, balancing, and foundation poses. Sweep that knee to the nose. Good, rounding through the back right here, holding for three, two, one. Shoot that leg up high to the sky, lower down. Inhale, plank, chaturanga, nice and slow. No rush here. Excellent, way to go, Vicka. Inhaling up. If you wanna go through Cobra, back, downward facing dog. Really good, excellent. Good, and always relax when you get in that down dog. The biggest challenge you have is those shoulders, especially guys, you like to, you can't power through this pose. You have to release. You wanna think the energy is going back to that far corner. Really good. All right, let's get started here. On the inhale, right leg high to the sky. Coming into low lunge, she's gonna go knee to the nose and then step that foot through, relaxing the back knee. She's gonna sweep up, relaxing the foot. Good, sweep up, low lunge, okay? She's turning this into a heart opener. Love that, love that, doing that, because you know, most people, they wanna lean forward, take it back. This knee's at a right angle. We teach angles here, 90 degrees, 45 degrees, or 180. She's gonna reach up to prayer as she takes it through heart center Boom, right hand to right knee, left palm down. I like to go fingertips or palm, and then this arm's gonna roll up. Now, option here, you could stay here or you could lift the back leg. And most people, when they lift, see how we're engaging here. We're engaging here, she's rolling open, really good. Great side twist here, waking up the body. Good, slowly lower right hand down, then straightening over the front leg. This is like a runner's stretch, right? But you're not pivoting that back heel to the ground. Nose to knee, relax through the crown, best you can. Good, right away we're gonna take right hand to the sacrum, and she's gonna roll this pose up. Now she's able to roll up and then lift that right arm. Deeper twist, by the way ladies, if you're pregnant, you're not wanting, to, don't do any deep twists. This one here. Good, this is more of a deeper twist, and if you're able to straighten the leg, that's fine, you don't have to. Good, excellent. Then she's gonna slowly lower right hand down, she's gonna switch it up. Left arm's gonna go up. Now, if your balance is off, you can take the hand further out, but right here, she's good. Try not to grip with your toes, right? Excellent, this is a balance challenge. Stick with it. Really good, Becca, excellent. As she lowers that hand down to the ground, she's gonna bend the knee, coming into high lunge legs, go plank. Let's go through plank. There you go. We didn't rehearse this, guys. Lower chaturanga. Good, excellent. Inhale up. I feel a little, little confined in this space, but we're gonna make it work. All right, excellent. Other side, ready? Inhale, left leg high to the sky, bringing knee to the nose as she steps it through for low lunge. Good, relaxing the back knee, relaxing the toes. Take it into a heart opener. Relax your toes here. This knee's at a right angle. Again, even though you're up, you're engaging through the core. Excellent. She's gonna reach up for prayer, bringing it down through heart center. Left palm, right side down. And then she's gonna twist open. Option to engage that back leg. Curl the toes under, lifting. And all the while, the torso's rotating, right? Reaching up. Really good, excellent. Good, slowly lowering left hand down, straightening, runner's lunge here, nose to knee. But see how she's relaxing this heel? A lot of students, they like to stay up on that heel. It's a different pose here. Good, she's definitely got the great flexibility. It's okay to bend that knee. Now, turning this into a deeper twist, left hand down, right arm, yep, there you go, right hand down, left arm up. Excellent, really good. Again, you can keep the front leg straight, if.
practice, whatever's available to you. Other side now, Vicka. Left hand down, right arm's gonna go up. This is a balance challenge here. And at the same thing, let's try to relax through that back. That makes it a little more challenging. Good, really good. And as she takes it through plank chaturanga, she comes to the high lunge leg. So bend the knee, take it through plank. Excellent. Chaturanga, back, downward facing dog. Really good. All right, remember, downward facing dog each time, shoulders get more relaxed, hips go back. Nice. On the inhale, she's gonna bend her knees, look up. Exhale, step, walk, hop to the front of the room. You got it. Inhale, flat back. Let's come up to chair pose. Sweep it up, high chair pose. Great pose here, she's getting stronger each time. Nice, really good. Now we're gonna come up on your toes. See how she's able, this is a challenging pose, but a little bit of balance here. Hold it for three, two, one. Dive it forward, whichever way you like. Swan dive or even through prayer. Inhale, flat back. Let's take it back. Plank, chaturanga. She's able to shoot it back, lower through. You see that? That's the proper way to do it. Or you could walk it back, no worries. Here we go, right side. Inhale, right leg out of the sky. High lunge with a bent back knee. Love this here. So see how she keeps the knee bent? And if you want to work harder, take that knee and bend it so that it's coming right above the ground, right? That's going to give you more of the same thing. Engage through the core. Now slowly clasp your hands behind your back. Good. And as you inhale up, maybe looking up a little bit of a heart opener and then diving it forward, shoulder to knee, as you straighten through the back leg. Balance challenge here. If you have to release, you could release. But stay with it, pushing on through that heel. Without touching the ground, she's able to release and clasp her elbows behind the right knee. Good, take it there. Now, if it's in your practice, if it's available, try to straighten the right leg. It's a little more challenging. Good, stay with it, relaxing. See how she's relaxing the crown down? Nice, really good. Breathe, stay with your breath. Inhales, max the exhales. Good, slowly release, taking it through plank, chaturanga. Nice. I love that. Going behind, forward, bending. Always challenging with the balance. Good. Inhaling up, back, downward facing dog. Other side. Ready? Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Bring it through. Think knee to the nose as you step it through. High lunge with the bent back knee. Good. I like to start with these lunges, okay? Core strengthening, but always think. You don't have to straighten through that back, but see how this Front knee is at a right angle, that's at 90 degrees. Take your time, slowly clasp behind your back. Good, she's able to inhale, maybe look up if it's in your practice, dive it forward. Good, she's able to take it a little to the inside of that knee and at the same time, try to relax through that heel, nice. That's the challenge because you wanna grip with your toes, you wanna reach into it, really good. See how she takes her heart through? That's a little more challenging. Good, slowly releasing, clasping behind the leg. Going right behind that knee. Good, now relax the crown down. She's able to straighten the leg. You don't have to straighten the leg. Love this pose here. Good, see how it's okay. If you touch down, that's what you wanna do. You wanna come right back. Good, slowly taking it through. Plank, chaturanga, excellent. Remember, two halves of your body, rarely are they the same. So always take note of what's going on. Excellent. Good, really good. Couple of breaths here, downward facing dog, awesome pose. Good, on the inhale, let's bring it forward. Inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step walk, hop it to the front. Good, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, coming all the way up, however you like, all the way up. She's reaching up, hands through prayer, through heart center. Good, let's just take a moment there. Good, she's gonna close her eyes, gonna reconnect with your breath. Always think. You're between two planes of glass. A little balance challenge here. So, Vic is gonna open up her eyes. And this is the only time I'm gonna tell you to grip with your toes. So, we're gonna bring the heels together. I like to think you're Dorothy clicking your heels. She's gonna grip with her toes and come off. The heels are gonna come off about an inch because we're gonna close our eyes for five seconds. This is a little more challenging. So, right here, good. And now think, pick a point of focus. Whenever you're balancing, don't pick something that's moving. So if you're looking, well, you're hopefully watching us, but if you're looking in the mirror, good. So heels off the ground. Let's do it. Close your eyes for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Release. Good. High chair pose. And then diving it forward. 
coming into your plank. So it's an inhale, flat back, shoot it back, plank, chaturanga. Again, we're incorporating balance. Every day you should try to balance back, downward facing dog. Good. Another little lunge sequence. Here we go, right side. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Bring it through high lunge. Good, and then hold that pose. And what I like to say is coming into high lunge, I always start getting this knee to a right angle and then see how I'm pushing through the back heel to get that leg straight so you could be here, but push out through, trying not to come up. Hold that pose. Now she's gonna split the arms. So left arm's gonna come forward, right arm's gonna come back. She's able to shift the gaze. Good, pull through the core, challenging pose. You can look forward to the side or back. Doesn't really matter here. And now sweep it back up to high lunge. She's gonna reach up for prayer. Good, and she's gonna tip it forward. Now think, you could stay right here. You could fly the arms out for airplane pose and hold that pose. Or you could take it into warrior three. So take it into warrior three. She's able to have the arms outstretched now, warrior three, you want to flex this foot, inwardly spiral. Good. See how you're trying to keep a flat back? Any version of the arms, it's our first one here. And then dive it forward, standing split. She's going to dive it forward, standing split. She's able to balance. It's okay if you want to touch down. Good. Now, point your toes on this one and try to go higher. Really good. Breathe. Good. Slowly release, stepping it back for plank. Always think high lunge legs, chaturanga. Really good, Victor. Excellent. Lower through, inhaling up, back, downward facing dog. Coming to the other side, ready? Inhale, left leg high to the sky, bringing it through, high lunge. And again, each lunge you're evolving to a straighter back leg. I love this at a right angle. This is your 45 degree angle. Really good, here we go. Splitting the arms, right arm forward, left arm back. Good, excellent, good. See how she's still, body is perpendicular to the legs. Breathe, balance challenge with the gaze. Sweep it back up high to the sky. Excellent, taking it into prayer, tipping it forward, flying the arms out. You could stay right there. We're taking it into warrior three. Warrior three, another balancing pose. Now we're gonna flex and try to inwardly spiral that right foot. So you're trying to get these hips Flat. She's able to straighten the leg. You could also do this with a little bit of a bend in the knee. Dive it forward, standing split. She's able to do the balance challenge here if you are. See how she's going, trying to bring the elbows in, maybe pointing your toes if that's available. Nice, way to go, Becca. Excellent. Good, slowly taking it back. Plank, chaturanga, lower through, inhaling up. Back down dog, and then child's pose. Knees really wide, big toes together. Good, taking in the child, our first child's pose of the day, and then think, knees wide, and then you're taking this part, you're just kind of really relaxing down, shoulders relax. Good, anytime you need to take a child's pose, take a child's pose. Same thing with class people. When you're in class, take a child's pose. It's your practice, don't worry about what anybody else is doing. And again, if there's something that you want to modify, modify it just because the teacher says do it this way. Well, we're all different. We're like snowflakes, okay? So you got to find teachers you like, stay with them, but modify to your body. Everybody has a different body. Here we go. Back to downward facing dog. When you're ready, let's come in. Downward facing dog. Every time you're in down dog, right? A little more V-like, upside down V. Excellent. Really good. Here we go, bring it forward. On the inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step, walk, hop to the top of your mat. Good, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Now she's gonna squat it down. Squat it down, and I like to say there's a diamond here. Good, create a diamond. Heels are together, balls of the feet are together. The wider you are with your knees, it's a balance challenge. Pull through your core. Good, so you could be here, you could be in prayer or you could go steeple grip, these are hand mudras, and go straight up to the sky. See where she is today, now good. See how she's able to think two planes of glass? Stay with this, okay, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it through for plank and shoot it back. She's able to shoot it back, chaturanga. Really good pose for balance challenge back, downward facing dog, excellent, again. Balance is a big part of everything in life, okay? Great for concentration. 
there's so many positives. So every little, every day you do a little bit of balancing, spend five minutes, that's awesome. Here we go. Right side, warrior one. On the inhale, right leg high to the sky, let's bring it through, warrior one. She's stepping it through. Our first warrior one of the day, pivot the back foot, sweeping up. So the first one of the day, you don't have to get to this right angle, but wherever you are, hips are forward like headlights, right? So think, hips are forward, pull through the core. See how she's between two planes of glass? And a lot of times, people, you're leaning forward, take it back. Always think, pull through the core, taking it back. Warrior two, it's coming into a warrior two, hips open to the side. Good. Now your gaze is over your middle finger here. The biggest thing is you want to relax your shoulders, sink a little deeper. I like to think here in Lake Michigan, we're in Chicago, so just resting your palms on the water here. Now, where's that chin? You want to think like there's a wall behind you. She's going to try to listen. So really try to bring that chin forward. That's a little challenging with the neck, but sink a little deeper, pull through the core. Reverse warrior. She's going to sweep it up. Relax this whole left side. Good. I like to turn the palm open on this one, but your call, sink a little deeper. Really good here. Breathe, always stay with your breath. Good, on the next inhale, windmill all the way through. Plank, chaturanga, good. Nice, easy start to this. This is your foundation poses, love the warriors. Good, for your uh, part of that, five parts of the yoga, to all yoga. Here we go, other side. On the inhale, left leg out of the sky. Think, knee to the nose, stepping it through, it's a step. Pivot the back foot, sweep up, warrior one. Good, excellent. And especially for guys, okay, I like to think heel to archway, but if your hips are really tight, take it further out, but never to the inside, like if you're on a tight rope. Really good, and see how she's able to bring the hands together. Different versions of warrior, whatever you like. Warrior two, let's open it up. Good, hips open to the side, relax in the shoulders, pull through the core. Good, and this knee likes to roll in, so remember, that knee tracks perfectly forward, looking over your middle finger, chin forward, nice. Let's reverse it, reverse. Warrior, I like to call this peaceful warrior, relax it down. Yeah, excellent, let's windmill all the way through. Plank, chaturanga, all right. Take it through, nice, back, downward facing dog. All right, always deep inhales, deep exhales, staying with it, really good. Let's do that again. On the inhale, right leg high to the sky, bring it through, warrior one, step, get at the back foot. We're just gonna keep adding. This is called a sequence, we're gonna add to this. Good, warrior two, nice. And she readjusts a little bit, however you like to do it, but don't move around too much when you transition. Good, reverse. Excellent. Breathe. See how she's sinking into that knee? Back to warrior two for triangle. Straighten that front leg. Reach forward. Triangle pose. Excellent. Let's take it. I like to take the back of the hand into the shin. And you want to think you're hanging from the ceiling here. The energy's going up, not down. Good. Pull through the core. Going back to warrior two. Excellent. Reverse. And then windmill all the way through. You got it. Back, downward facing dog, so take it through plank, chaturanga, we're just gonna keep adding to this little sequence. Really good, excellent. Let's go to the other side, ready? Inhale, left leg up, warrior one. Good, see how she's strong through the core, knee here? Good, warrior two. Mm -hmm. Really nice, reverse, warrior. Relax, you're reaching back. Try not to come out of that knee. Most students, I've taught 2,000 classes, people, in 10 years, 20, over 20,000 students, they like to pull out of this pose. Back to warrior two. Good, for triangle, straighten the leg. Here's a little thing, think of it this way. Someone's giving you a karate chop, reaching forward, and then coming into it. So I like to think, we call this Elvis pelvis from LA, here we go. And now let's take the hand to the inside, see how? And then she's reaching up. Try not to collapse down. This is a core strengthening pose here. Excellent. Back to warrior two. She's just tipping into that knee. Good, reverse. Windmill it all the way through. You got it. Plank, chaturanga, lower through. Good, inhaling up. Back, downward facing dog. Excellent. On the inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step walk up to the front. 
Good. Inhale, flat back. Good. Exhale, fold. Squat it down one more time. I like to do two sets of these. This is a great pose. Create that diamond. Now think from the side view. Good. And now wherever you are, but from the side view, you're thinking flat back. And then she's able to sweep it up. Either go here, you can keep the arms apart, whatever's working, but the wider, pull through, lean back, hold that pose. Breathe, here we go. For 10, nine, eight, the wider you spread the knees, the better, sit down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Taking it through, plank, right, version, whatever you like, chaturanga, excellent. Inhale up, back, downward facing dog. Good, let's do one more standing sequence here. Ready, right side, inhale, right leg high to the sky, warrior one. And then we're gonna bring it into abs, you guys, you're gonna love that. Good, warrior two. Good, reverse warrior. Warrior two, triangle. Nice. Now she's gonna reach for the globe. If it's in your practice, both arms reach out. Let's lift that right arm, use your core. Ready for three, two, one, warrior two. And she's gonna clasp behind her back. As she inhales up, dive it forward. Let's hold right there. Breathe, try not to grip with your toes. Good, on the next inhale, release, sweep up to warrior one. Warrior two. And then eagle pose, left under right. And then she's gonna go left over right. She's able to do it in one swoop. Good, think eagle pose here. So eagle, Eagle is chair pose, but you're bound, okay? Now let's lift the elbows, and she's gonna try to tip back a little, bring it through. Good. Back to warrior two. You're gonna find your balance, step it back. Nice, warrior two. Reverse, and then windmill all the way through. A little longer sequence, but a really good one here. Take it through, plank, chaturanga. You know chaturanga, right? Is when you lower through, go back. Other side, here we go. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Bring it through. Step, warrior one. Sweeping up. Warrior two. Good. Reverse. Good. Warrior two. Triangle. See how she's reaching? That's elongating the spine. I like to say reaching for a cupboard here. Good. Let's reach for the globe. Calling that reach for the globe for three, two, three. One, warrior two. Good, clasp behind your back. As she inhales up, hips go forward and then dive. Nice, really good. Relax, but now engage your core and you sweep up, release, sweeping up to warrior one. Good, warrior two. Eagle, right under left. Now think, you're gonna pivot, you're gonna pivot through high lunge as you take it around, nice. And she leg over. Pull through the core, I like to think elbows up. Engage your core in this pose, great balancing pose. Eagle, she's able to, that's called a double wrap. It's okay, guys, if you single wrap or if you just wanna use the arms. Good, taking it back to warrior two, stepping it back. Nice, reverse. Let's take it through, windmill all the way through. Plank, chaturanga, lower through, excellent. Inhaling up, back downward facing dog. Couple of breaths here, just close your eyes. Reset, we're gonna come down the home stretch here. Good, every time you're in this pose, especially guys out there, it took me six months to relax my shoulders in this pose, okay? I started practicing in 2005. Within six months, I finally kind of clicked, you know? The more you relax and, and not try to grip in this practice, the better you are. Excellent, open your eyes, here we go. Let's bring it forward on the inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step, walk, hop to the front. Good, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold Uttanasana, palms to your elbows, just hang, and she's able to maybe straighten her legs. Always think, it, wakening up, and always opening that low back around your sacrum area gets really tight. Good, release your hands down. She's gonna squat it down. We're gonna come into boat pose here. So I like to come into with that same diamond. So let's go with the diamond, and then she's gonna sit it back into boat pose, right? And then boat, we're gonna flex her feet, Take your palms under your calves. So you could stay here, but she's able to release the hands, okay, and hold. But she's a V shape, the knees in, right? We're gonna, we're gonna come into a couple of these. So stay here, let's hold for 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Grab behind your knees, and then you're gonna rock it back. Rock it back. Two times on each side of the spine. You have these things called nadis. They're lines of energy. There's a feminine and a masculine. A couple times, and then back to high bow. Let's do two more. Vic, Vic. It's like, where are we going? And then let's come back to both posts. Love this pose. Now, holding your legs, flex your feet. Flex your feet and straighten your legs. Good. Now, see how she's a V? Now, you could stay here. This is more challenging, or you could release. She's able to release. That's a little more advanced, but stay with it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Love to count it down. 4, 3, 2. Grab the legs again. Couple more rocks. Two on each side. She can go. You can play with this. Have fun with this. When a teacher says the rock, you can take it where you want. And then she's going to come back to, I don't know if you went two on each side, but let's come back to boat. We're going to come into half boat. You're going to lower it down. Take your arms by your side. So we're going to do it this way. Palms up. This is a good elbows in. Now, you can either flex, point, or floint, like Barbie toes, I like. And if you're able to lift up, this is engaged here. I like to take the chin forward. Ready? For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hug the knees in. Good, rock a little side to side. There you go, we're taking it down to the ground. Like I said, coming down the home stretch here. She's going cactus arms, soft spinal twist. Float the knees over, good. And then knees together, let's keep your knees together here. This is a good one, just relax down. And then see how she's coming up, but you're trying to stay relaxed. Ooh, a little tighter there, huh? Good, all right. Let's bring them back through center. Always think knees close to the heart as you go over people. Try not to have the knees out, over to the other side. This side seems a little more relaxed for her. Try to keep your shoulder blades back on the ground. Good, coming back through center, hug your knees in. Let's come into a happy baby pose. She's reaching for the outside edges of her feet. She's trying to get her thighs to the ground in this pose, and you're thinking elongating the spine. Yogi toe lock, your two piece fingers on your big toes. And you're going to V it out. Love this little sequence here. She's going with the big V. Good. Soles of the feet together. Soup to Baddha Konasa. Baddha Konasa is cobbler's pose. On your back, curl up and try to eat your toes. Good. Let's do that. So, confusing her here. Good. Excellent. Good. And now, class behind your legs. So, she's going to go for her wrists behind her legs. She's going to let the heels just flop down. And then lay back down. Every vertebra is on the ground. Good. Now step the feet on the ceiling. Here we go. And her legs are going to be perpendicular to the body. Flex. Good. Now go with a steeple grip. Do a little bit of abs here. Steeple grip, straight up. Lift the heart off. Good. Now engage so she's at right angles here. Lifting up. Ready? Let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to hug your knees and do not hold your breath when you do abs, people. Love abs, got to incorporate it in your every day. Good, let's step the feet back on. We're going big V here, big V, steeple grip. You're lifting up and then through your legs. Good, she's reaching, she's outwardly spiraling. Hold this pose, ready for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hug your knees in. Don't hold your breath here. Good, stay focused. Stay in the room too until your entire practice here. One more time, steeple grip, or uh, feet straight up. And let's go steeple. This time try to touch your toes. She's able to even almost go with a yogic, but take it through. Ready, a little more of a crunch for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hug your knees in. Good, we got one more set here, one more set. So plant your feet, think bridge pose. Think bridge, feet together. Let's go feet together. Good, let's go with the steeple grip straight up to the sky, and we're gonna take it right above the knees. So lift up and right above. See how she's reaching? Good, really use this, it's your upper abs too. Ready, and now can you lift your toes? See how you flex your feet and lift. Good, let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, just lay back down, and then soup the body canasa, soles of the feet together. Just take a moment there. Let's have left palm to your belly, right palm to your heart. Yep, just take a moment there. Just close your eyes. We're coming down, we're kind of finishing up very soon, but relax. This is a great pose. If you ever want to take a shavasana in this pose, great one. Relax your knees, right? Just think, soften down. 
you sort of buckle that sacrum a little bit. If you want to make it an active pose, you'll pull through and try to mass the sacrum into the ground. Last thing for abs, steeple grip, open up your eyes, straight up to the sky, and then keep your legs in, in uh, supta through the middle. So she's going up through, okay? Here's another one of my favorites. Now this is challenging. Relax your knees and at the same time, try to scoop your sacrum as you pull it through. Ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lay back down. Think Shavasana arms here. Good. I like to curl up and pull the knees together. So bring the legs together and then hug the knees in. Good, little rock side to side. And then another spinal twist. She's gonna tee out her arms, float the knees over to the right. And if you're able, you can either extend the top leg or both legs. She's able to extend both and you're gonna flex your feet and you're gonna to try to bring them to the hand here. Okay, deeper twist. Again, ladies, if you're pregnant, no deep twists. Doesn't really matter. First trimester, definitely not second and third trimester. Good, and she's gonna bend her knees, bring it back through center. Over to the other side. Good. See how it brings the knees close to the heart? She's able to flex. She's able to go. She's obviously more flexible. A lot of folks are not able to touch their hand. That's totally fine, especially guys out there. Good. Bringing it back through center. She's got to hug her knees into the chest. One more twist here. Eagle leg. So plant the right foot. Cross left over right. Good. Then you're going to scooch the hips to the left a little bit and then float right. Think cactus arms on this one. Yeah like the cactus arms, good. A little deeper twist here with the eagle legs. See how she's lifting up, but you're just trying to relax down. Good. Release the legs. Good, over to the other side. Plant the left foot, cross right over left, scooch the hips to the right a little bit. It helps moving the hips a little. Good, and then see how she's a little tighter in that the hips and shoulders maybe, but she's not able to, but you just think relax down as far as you can. Good, release, bringing it back through center. Let's hug the knees in again. Good, let's go in the happy baby pose again, reaching for the outside edges. Excellent, soles of the feet together, soup to try to curl up and eat your toes. Good, hug the knees in one more time, and here we go. Now we're gonna step the feet on the ceiling, all right, and then we're gonna relax the feet. Now this is legs up the wall, Viparani Karini it's called, but we're not using a wall, but now relax. And feel like your legs, you have like ropes, you're hanging from the ceiling, relax your feet. So you're not flexing here. Good, and lay back down. Think Shavasana arms. Good, excellent. You always wanna, this is great for circulation, digestion, I mean, if you have some stress. Legs up the wall, I recommend doing it every day. You could use a wall, it can be a little bit easier. Good, she's relaxing here, close your eyes. Let's just take 20 seconds here, because we're coming down. We're gonna come into our Shavasana, but again, this is a pose you could make it softer, or you could be more active if you want. Just relax. Breathe, stay with it. 10 more seconds, okay? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side. Good, give it a really big squeeze. I think you want to be a really big squeeze and like a spring, spring it out to Shavasana, your final resting pose. Good, I'm gonna make her a little more, I'm gonna adjust you a little bit over here. Good, and when you're in Shavasana, right, see how she's letting it go? And then this is a nice little one here where kind of let it go here, let the, Toes splay out. Good. Just close your eyes. Let it go. Soften your breath. Excellent. And release.
slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Reach your arms overhead, take a big long cat stretch, stretch everything out. And you hug your knees into your chest. Just roll into your right side fetal position. Just take a moment there. Just let everything settle here. Good. And when you're ready, try to keep that inward focus with your eyes closed. Let's bring it up any comfortable cross-legged position. We're gonna close out our practice. She's gonna face forward. I like hero's pose, but whatever you like. Let's just go hands in prayer in front of your heart. Sit up nice and tall, just bow your head and close your eyes. Well, first you gotta thank yourself for making it to the mat. It's always a great day when you can practice, so pay homage to yourself for putting in the work. Way to go, everyone. Now we create a collective energy between us, some great vibes, so we're gonna take that energy, let's gift it over to someone else in your life, send out some good energy that someone could use it today. Always want to think positive, speak positive, feel positive. Sailing your practice, thumbs to the middle of your forehead, bow forward, namaste. Namaste. All right. <laughs> Way to go, Becca. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Hope you had a great time with it. Do it again. I know we're on for 24 hours. And we're going to be doing these pop-up classes, hopefully twice a week, trying all new things. But uh, remember, put in the work, good diet. I don't know if you need to be a vegetarian, but uh, thanks, Vicka, so much for practicing today, and uh, we'll see you next time.